Well, greetings YouTube model people. How's it going? All right. Well, coming at you here with a projects and slight channel update. Um, basically, uh, I normally like to provide project updates individually because, you know, you may be interested in project A, but you're not in project B. You're not interested in project C, but you really love project D. So I try to always make updates in separate videos you know, for each build. But for this uh, video, because the updates, well, there's there's good updates here, but just uh, the entrance of having to upload three separate videos and all that good stuff, I figured I'd include all the project updates uh, in one video. So here we go. We're going to be doing a update on our Coast Guard entry for the Armed, U.S. Armed Forces group build that I'm hosting, which is a big update coming on that one, folks, in the next few days. Um, I've really dropped the ball, embarrassingly so. I'm ashamed of how I've handled that group build and the, and the administration of it. So we're going to re, uh, I guess you could say, we're going to right the ship uh, in a few days and get that back on track. So that aside, I got the Coast Guard entry update, uh, the, the plane I'm building, which is the Albatross. We have a Whirlybird, uh, first annual group build of the Whirlybirds, uh, BG's model workshop, hosted build, which uh, tie in. Um, basically has ran uh, has run out for that, but we're still working on it. Actually getting very close to final. And I have my Cliffs GI Scale Mechanics 2023 motorcycle build update as well. So let's get straight to it. First one is the Coast Guard. We are working on this Albatross uh, kit. Things were going along pretty well. Um, we have it in, I want to do it in like a matte finish. So we have it painted in a matte white. Um, we're definitely going to need another coat of paint on there. Uh, and then a quick opinion, which color do you guys like better for the um, the red? It's obviously, I think it's the one on the bottom there. Um, the one on the top looks a bit too orange to me. So tell me what you guys think. I think that one, uh, the, the one below that, which is more red than orange, um, should suffice based on the box art. Um, then now the next update we'll um, provide is on the Whirlybird group build and I am building the uh, just as a reminder the 148 scale uh, Blue Thunder um, Aoshima kit and this one's coming along very well it's not going to be contest um, you know entry kind of thing but I'll, I'll put it in one anyway because it's something a little different so here's the whirly bird in its current state um, this was not fun and I'm not good at masking but we did have to go all out for this very distinct um, canopy glass for the uh, Blue Thunder. As you know, it's a big part of the way this, um, you know, helo chopper, whatever you want to call it, looks. Here's just one of, we have the other two are also painted in, in detail um, of the blades. And then, of course, we have the, the Whirly Bird itself. Uh, and that's basically what it's going to kind of look like. Uh, we have the pilot, it's over on the other side there, um, kind of out of screen, out of camera. And uh, just to give you a quick quick peek of what this is going to kind of look like, is, uh, whoop, hold on, I had it in here earlier. Well, guys, one hand, it's kind of hard to tell. But basically speaking, um, basically speaking, that's kind of what we're going to be going with, right? I just, obviously, one hand is kind of hard to do. So, yeah, that ought to look pretty sharp when it's all done. Now, for Cliffs 2023... Uh, motorcycle build. I'm working on that and definitely on schedule to complete that. That runs through till, if I have my dates right, October 16th. We should be able to make that deadline. I'm building this guy here, the Yamaha XJR 400R motorcycle. Uh, another uh, Aoshima kit going together very well, actually. Um, good detail. Uh, parts are nice and crisp. There's really no flash to speak of. And here's kind of all the parts I've worked on for this build. So we had to detail up the uh, tires and rims. We just did this earlier today, which is the chain and everything that goes around that. Uh, for the rear tire, we did the black here. This is in, uh, basically molded in um, chrome, shiny chrome. But we had to paint the front. These are the front spokes, so the bottom parts are actually gloss black and that will be the color of the actual bike uh, which is gloss black to match the box art this is the tanks we got to do some seam work here as is always the case with motorcycle builds 
Same thing with the rear here. Uh, another seam, and then there's some seams here. Here's another little piece that's no seams, thankfully. And then here's the engine. This took this has got a lot of pieces on it. it may not look like it, but uh, this took a little bit of time to put together. Um, and we have detail painted there as well. Um, you know, so that's basically it, folks. Um, so really, in order of finish, we're probably we're, we're definitely going to be done with the Whirly Bird first, the Blue Thunder here. That one will get done first. Then uh, we're going to actually get started um, very soon, even though we're not going to be done quite done with the Whirly Bird. I'd say about another week. That's definitely done in a week, unless there's any crazy problems, and I don't see that being the case. So during the week, I'll be working on that. And then I'll also be kicking off my Cancer Awareness Build, hosted by Bob Bootsking again this year, uh, which is the uh, Chris Cortell CP101 um, Cancer Awareness Build. So we'll be we're getting uh, getting in on that one, and then we're also going to be starting up as soon as this Whirly Bird's done. We're going to get cracking on the uh, Halloween build that Russell over at Russell Mall Cars is uh, hosting. So that's really the plan here in the next month or so. The projects we'll be working on, and as the motorcycle gets done, we'll be uh, pretty much getting into our NASCAR. We did not forget about the NASCAR build hosted by Jeff over at Jeff's Mall Garage and. Fred Henry, Pappy, uh, we have not forgotten about it, but that's not due till November, so we have some time to get on that one. So that's it, folks. Hope you're all doing well. Let me just take a quick moment, and I should have did this at the beginning, but I absolutely want to thank each and every one of you who subscribe and follow and comment on my channel. Uh, even if you just follow along and you don't comment, I can't thank you enough. I've gotten a lot of subscribers uh, fairly recently. I did do a, uh, a podcast with uh, Lucas C., if you're uh, familiar with uh, Matt, his channel, Lucas V, check it out, L-U-K-A-C-E. -E. And I did the unpodcast, and what's kind of fun is uh, toward the end of that um, video, or halfway through, you'll see there was an extra guest that joined us, which was super cool uh, during the uh, the chat. So after that, I think visibility, I was uh, definitely uh, picked up some more subscribers. So again, if you're new to my channel, I thank you so much for uh, jumping on and following along. Um, we're going to try to keep it interesting. We're always keeping it busy, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, it's just all about having a good time and building all kinds of things. Again, what model is my name? Because I love to build any kind of genre that exists. I have, you know, basically, I like trying them all. So, um, and it's a great variety that makes me happy uh, when building. So that's it, folks. We'll talk to you in a bit. Cheers.